Hey guys, so today we're checking out the Barricade Rattler Steel Running Boards in black, fitting all 2009 to 2018 Ram 1500s. So if you're in search of a solid side step that's going to provide you better accessibility and a little bit of extra protection to fill up that wheel-to-wheel -wheel space, this option is going to be a great choice to take a look into. Now this will be great if you're looking for some better accessibility when it comes to getting in and out of your cab area, whether that's for you or your passengers, and if you have a lift kit on your truck, sometimes it can be difficult to get in and out, and these are going to do a really good job at helping you with that. Now obviously this does have the running board style, so you're gonna have a large surface area from the front to the back for that better accessibility, and it's gonna have a nice dimpled surface on top, which is not only going to be there for styling purposes, giving you a more aggressive look to the running board itself, um, but it's also gonna help you out with traction on those wetter days when getting in and out of the truck. Now, like I said, these are also going to be great for some protection to the side rocker area. Again, this is going to fill up that wheel-to-wheel -wheel space, and it's going to tuck very nicely or very tightly to uh, the pinch weld area itself. Uh, so any kick up, whether you're taking your truck on the work site, taking it off-road, or even on the street, is not going to get past the sidestep. It's going to keep the um, rocker panel area very protected. And of course, they're made out of a steel construction, uh, which is going to give you some strength there as well um, for anything, any obstacle that you may come in contact with. Now this is going to be a stamped steel construction um, and it is going to have a pretty premium look to it, which I personally like. And you're getting a nice textured black powder coat finish on top, not only to uh, protect that steel underneath from any rust or corrosion, but it's also going to give a more aggressive uh, and utilitarian look to the side of your truck as well. Now, as far as pricing is concerned, these are gonna come in at roughly $350. And in my personal opinion, I think for what you're getting out of the kit, uh, these are definitely well worth that price point. Now, in comparing these to some other options available on the page, these are gonna be more of the middle of the road as far as the balance between protection and accessibility is concerned. Some less expensive choices may not offer as much protection as these, considering they may be made of a stainless steel option, or they're going to be set up as a sidestep and not necessarily tuck high and tight to that rocker area uh, like this running board option. Now on the other hand, some other more expensive choices may just have an extra bell and whistle or two when it comes to the side step themselves. Uh, they may have a drop down step for some better accessibility if that's what you're looking for, um, or they may have removable steps. So really kind, kind of comes down to your personal preference and application. Uh, if you're looking for that good balance, if you're looking specifically for a running board as well, um, that's going to give you some good styling to the side of your RAM, but also give you a lot of function, I think these are gonna be right up your alley. Now when it comes to install, I'm gonna give this a very easy one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. You are gonna need a few basic hand tools and about two hours to get these installed, but it's nothing you can't get done in your driveway in that time. So speaking of the install, Let's jump into that now. The tools that I used for my install were a 13 millimeter and 10 millimeter wrench, a 3 8 inch drive ratchet, and a 13 millimeter and 10 millimeter socket. So the first step of our install is to install our brackets. Now we're going to have three main brackets that are going to mount to the inside of the body. And then we're going to have three brackets that are going to mount to the pinch weld as well as our main brackets. So we're going to put those on first and then we will mount up our side step. So for this, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket and wrench. You're also going to need a 13 millimeter socket and wrench and you're going to need the provided hardware. So now that we're underneath the ram at the rocker panel here, you'll see the mounting locations that are on the body. Um, now if you have an earlier generation ram, you'll have something that looks like this. If you have a later generation ram, you probably will have uh, uh, threaded holes in the rocker area. Um, you can use the provided hardware for that. However, if you have uh, this or if you're set up like we are here, you're going to need to use the welded nut or stud plate here. Um, now what I like to do as far as getting this mounted up, I'm going to hold on to that stud, drop that into the body there and kind of line that up. I'm going to take our provided hardware, which is the bolt, lock washer and flat washer and thread that in a few threads just to get that hooked on. And then we should be able to position the stud through. Now when the stud is through, we can grab our plastic retainer clip and we can wiggle that on. That's gonna keep this in place. And then we can take this bolt out for the time being so we can get our bracket mounted up.
Now since we're in the rear, I'm gonna start with the bracket that's labeled driver side rear. It's gonna have a DR on it. We're going to put that over that stud there. And what we can do simultaneously is line up the other side of the welded nut plate. So once you have that threaded on, we could also use the provided flat washer and nylon lock nut for the stud. So now that our main bracket's installed, what we can do is install our secondary bracket that's gonna attach to this bracket and our pinch weld here. So I am going to grab the provided bolt lock washer and the two flat washers as well as the nut and I'm gonna get that attached. Now we don't necessarily need to tighten anything up yet. Just wanna get everything put together and then we'll go back and tighten everything up. So now that that's on there, we can move it forward and align it with our pinch weld and take our smaller provided bolts, two flat washers and the nylon lock nut, and we can put that through our pinch weld and secure it down on the other side. Now there's gonna be two bolts per secondary bracket on the pinch weld. So at this point, what we can do is start to snug everything up. Now I'm not necessarily going to tighten it down. I still want to leave a little bit of wiggle room for adjustment once we get this step on here. Uh, but I do want it a little bit more snug than it currently is. So I'm going to use a 13 millimeter socket and my ratchet to tighten up the bracket on the, on the rocker first. Next, we can tighten up or snug up the bolts that are on our pinch weld here. I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and wrench for that. Next, we can tighten down the connecting bolt between the brackets here. I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter wrench and socket. Again, we're just snugging them up to make sure that everything is basically tightened, but can still give us a little bit of movement if we need to. Right, perfect. Next, we can repeat that process for the middle and the front brackets. So the front two brackets are gonna be labeled driver side front, or if you're on the passenger side, they'll be passenger side front. Um, and they are going to mount up the same way using the same process. So I already have that welded stud plate in there. We're gonna line that up.
So now that they're all snugged up, what we can do is install the welded stud plates onto our step and get it on our brackets. What we can do now with our step flipped over is install our welded stub plates. Now this is going to allow a mounting location so we can mount our step to our brackets. As you can see, these are going to sit in the slotted holes just like that, but we need to get them installed on our step first. Now there's gonna be a large channel in the middle and really all we have to do is place the welded stud plate sideways and then we can straighten it out. And then we're just going to roughly line it up and then we can mount up this step and get it lined up completely once we have them installed on our step. So they're just gonna sit in just like that. So now we can flip our step over, making sure that they are still connected to the bottom. They're not really gonna be connected to anything in that channel, they're just gonna be sitting there, so just be mindful of that. Um, but once we have those in there, we can align the step and we can get those lined up. So this process might be a little bit tricky. But we can head underneath and get those lined up. So when putting this step down, you wanna make sure that these studs are through. Now, if you don't have them through at first, what you can do is just lift up the step and you can slide that bracket in and get it lined up with this main bracket here. Now, once that is on the bracket or through the bracket, what we can do is secure it down with the um, flat washer, lock washer, and nut. Now what I would recommend is to thread these on. Um, again, if you don't have all of them through, it might be helpful just to thread the nut on just a couple threads and then get the other ones installed just because this is gonna allow this stud plate to stay in place uh, while you get the other stud plates inside this channel um, and into the bracket. So again, if you can't get it lined up at first, what I recommend to do is just lift up on the brackets and the side step. And because we left this a little bit loose, you will be able to manipulate the bracket a little bit. But once that's on, we can secure it down just like the other two. So now that those are on, what we can do is move the step to where we want it positioned on the truck. I'm just gonna move it a little farther outward just so we have a larger stepping surface, or at least it's a little bit farther away from the cab there. And then we can tighten these up using a 10 millimeter socket and 10 millimeter wrench. Now you won't be able to get the socket on the back one, so I recommend to just thread it on all the way by hand, and then take that 10 millimeter wrench that we were using before and just tighten that up there. Now while you're here, you just wanna make sure all the bracket hardware is tight as well uh, with the 13 millimeter wrench and socket as well as the 10 millimeter wrench and socket.
So now that we have one bracket completely tightened down, we can repeat that same process for the other two. So after you've completed this side, you can repeat that same exact process on the other side and you'll be all set to go. So that is going to wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos and products just like this and always keep it right here at americantrucks.com.